So the line locks in. Uh, it's time we're going to talk about wiring it. Uh, so we got two wires off of it. Um, let's go and look at my custom wiring diagram. So this is pretty much the whole wiring diagram for it. So this is your battery positive, and this is your battery negative. So this is your line lock. This is actually an emblem for a light bulb, but same thing. The line lock's got needs a positive and negative. It's a load. So once it gets positive and negative, it's going to actuate. So we're just going to draw it as a light bulb. So here's your line lock. So how I'm going to wire it is I'm going to have the switch on the ground side. So it's going to be a ground side driver of my line lock. So from the battery, we're going to go to a fuse. You want the fuse closest to the battery. So that way, if any of this ever touches ground, it pops the fuse. Because if it touches ground right here, it won't pop the fuse, melt the wire, get really hot. Bad things will happen. So we're going to run from the battery to a fuse to the line lock and then from the line lock we're going to run it inside the cab to a switch I have mounted by my steering wheel and from that switch it's going to go on the other side switch is going to go straight to ground so when you pop the switch on it turns the line lock on. Magic. Well, and here it is all wired up so we got this wire going to this fuse which goes straight to battery positive. Then we got this wire that goes see if you guys can see, dead on through my firewall there. See that blue wire? And it comes around. And through there. That black wire is a wide band O2 for one thing. And it comes up to here. And then I got this red switch right here that the uh, other owner previously installed. So we're using it as the Whatever. And that's how you install a line lock. Some brake lines, little electrical, simple electrical, simple brake lines. You got yourself a line lock, do sweet burnout.